Today addressing a seminar on information security in New Delhi, Salam, who is all set to adorn the post of the President of India, said that India's wealth of human resource will work to its advantage in any area of work. He further added that India should try to transform into a knowledge-based society evolving quickly through the earlier stages of agriculture, industry and information. A knowledge society is uniquely configured for India. It's a great opportunity and since we have traditional knowledge, we've got a great large manpower, you can be trained, nowhere in the world, suppose you want a million people, any field, you can train the million people to fill that tradition. So you have a big resource, is human resource and natural resource. Kalam said young minds powered by knowledge were the most powerful resource for the country's growth and prosperity. 70% of the India's population almost young. Only the vision of the nation can ignite the young minds. The ignited minds employed with knowledge is the most powerful resource on the earth to bring about the transformation. The man credited with giving the country's missile program its much-needed edge, Abdul Kalam, a presidential candidate, is supported by most political parties. He will face a nominal contest from a joint candidate of left parties, freedom fighter Captain Lakshmi Segal. The presidential election is scheduled for July 15th. President APJ Abdul Kalam today inaugurated a two-day-long World Buddhist Meet in New Delhi. Addressing scores of monks and scholars, Kalam said a university dedicated to the philosophies of Lord Buddha should be set up at Nalanda. To commemorate this great event, it is essential, that's my view, it's essential to establish a university in Nalanda dedicated to philosophy of Buddha, dedicated to the philosophy of Buddha to cherish and find a new meaning a university of universal and understanding. The, the conclave seeks to promote Indian sites associated with Lord Buddha. The meet will be followed by a dedication ceremony of the Mahabodhi temple at Bodhgaya on February 19. The site where Lord Buddha attained enlightenment has been declared a world heritage site by the UNESCO. Meanwhile, preparations are on in Bodh Gaya for the ceremony. Bhikkhu Bodhipal, Mahabodhi Vihar in charge, said tourism in the state will get a boost with the UNESCO recognizing the temple as a heritage site. With this, we see lots of increase in uh, passenger uh, visitors coming every day towards this place.